Now this is what I call the orange and blue report. Nice colors outside, sun going down right now, officially between 645 and 650, but that's between Montrose and Grand Junction. Sun, did I say sunrise just a second ago? You know what I'm talking about. We'll see it again at 715 tomorrow morning. Uh, we also have a couple of issues with cold air. First, let's jump down to the San Luis Valley, uh, home to Alamosa, home to a lot of agricultural communities. Most of that product has been yanked out of the dirt, but we still have sensitive vegetation. Some crops still there. Uh, we have a frost advisory tomorrow morning for these locations. And then into the north again we go around Steamboat Springs, Route County. Another. This is the fourth morning in a row where we hit this freeze warning, and we're only just dipping briefly below at or below the freezing mark. That also includes communities like Craig and Meeker checking in with the lower 30s. Gunnison again, not part of the equation, but upper 20 degree starts between Gunnison and Crested Butte. That's to be expected one more time. Also to be expected, and we've gone over this last couple of afternoons and the next few afternoons, we have these storms that are popping up over the mountain zones and then slowly drifting, not doing a whole lot unless you happen to be underneath one. But this is primarily Gunnison County, Pitkin County, Lake County, Chafee County, also Park County. Uh, so these are the mountainous communities. Even Summit and Eagle, to some extent, would be lifting some of these storms up and kicking them over some of the lower elevations, but they're not holding up all that well. They're not producing a whole lot of rain. Uh, but we got most of our rain last weekend, and that was very beneficial. I told you our drought monitor when I started this newscast, big improvements, and we can attribute a lot of those improvements to this past weekend. There's the storm system from this past weekend. Low pressure system on the eastern seaboard. Cold front draped all the way across the Middle Tennessee Valley, all the way through Arkansas, all the way through Oklahoma, the Red River Valley, stalling out on the tail end of it around the borderland states of New Mexico and Arizona. Um, but a key player in all this unsettled conditions in the mountain zones, this cut off low pressure system. Good placement to scoop up some subtropical moisture by itself, but now you add in still Eastern Pacific hurricanes. Uh, we had one former hurricane, Orlean, which is just basically a storm in the mountains of northern Mexico. We have another hurricane, Payne, down along the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula, uh, both of which will be contributing to more showers along the borderlands, uh, but to some extent, those travel migrate north into the Four Corners region, migrating into the San Juans, our mountain communities again tomorrow, and very likely on Saturday, we'll do the same thing. So this is not a total washout for your weekends, unless you find yourself in any of those counties I mentioned, those high country communities, then you might run the risk, especially in the back country, you might run the risk of falling underneath one of those darker clouds, and then you could experience some small hail, brief heavy downpours, uh, lightning, and some gusty winds, uh, but completely tolerable, and the lower Elevations really miss out. The Front Range community, Friday afternoon into Saturday afternoon, cold front's going to back in. We call it a backdoor cold front because it's going to come at us and advance westward. It won't get very far. It won't get past the Continental Divide. So we're kind of sheltered from that on the western slope. Again, our mountain communities will kick off a few rounds of showers and storms. By Saturday and Sunday, that cold front exits the region, and we're still left with what we've experienced already. These seasonal conditions, mostly sunny, a few clouds, great temperatures, cool mornings, dry afternoons. And we're going to do that through this weekend. So continuing to get the influence of a high pressure system flexing over the western coast, though it gets undercut by that low pressure system I just mentioned. So we dirty up that ridge with cloud coverage. So not total bluebird days, but pretty close. Now let's look temperatures for a moment because we slowly increased our afternoon temperatures. Not by much. Records exist in the mid 80s and near 90 degree, well, upper 80s uh, for many of us. Montrose should be about 70 this time of the year. Grand Junction should be 72 this time of the year. All areas today checking in at or slightly above the averages. And that's going to continue to slowly increase through the weekend. So if you have plans to be outside, whether it's a golf game around Montrose for Cobble Creek Golf Course, or maybe it's the uh, Cedar Edge Apple Fest for Delta County, or maybe you just like to go driving through the mountains looking at those leaf changing opportunities. Make sure you drive. The rest of the people in the car get to look. You have a responsibility driver. Also, we're heading through October. I think late next week we could. Our mountain communities could see the first winter weather advisory. We have a more significant storm system that's going to come barreling through the state. We're still waiting for total model agreement, but we do know this. Heading through the weekend, those late afternoon storms, 
They're going to fizzle out by evening. We're going to see mostly clear skies. We're going to get our temperatures for Grand Junction in the middle and lower 70s. Not going to set records, but we certainly will achieve seasonal and it's going to feel and look beautiful. You're not missing out on those mountain communities peak at best another five days, but it really looks good up there. So make sure make sure your vehicle's ready for winter because it's early October and things will change fast. And like I said, late next week, we're going to be eyeballing the next significant storm system that could swing through for the fall region. In the meantime, Montrose, enjoy the temperatures right around the 70 degree mark.